So the brand new MacBook Pro, M1 Pro and the M1 Max inside the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Can it be used for gaming or specifically, can you play Steam games on the brand new M1 Pro or M1 Max MacBook Pro? Well today, I'm going to find out what games you can play on it and if even the Steam kind of client even works on this machine and a couple of games to go along with it. Hi guys, it's Matt here. So that's right, I've got myself a brand new MacBook Pro right here, a 14 inch model. And I'm gonna to test today to see if the Steam client can be downloaded onto this machine and also if we can run some games on it. Now I must say straight away, the purpose of this video is just to see if we can actually play Steam games on this machine. It is not the purpose of can we play, you know, the new Horizon Zero Dawn on it? Can we play GTA 5? Can we play Red Dead Redemption 2 on it? It's to prove that we can actually play Steam games on it. So in the future where more developers actually make their games more compatible with Apple Silicon for the M1 Pro and the M1 Max in either the 14 inch or the 16 um, inch MacBook Pro that they will work in the future. Well, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is install Steam first of all, and I can do this going to Safari or any browser that you want to do. So I'm going to put Steam in here. And then with Steam open, I'm going to go to the Welcome to Steam here. And at the very top, we want to click on Install Steam. I'm going to press that, the green button at the top, and it should have Install Steam again. So you can see here, we've got the Apple logo uh, next to it. So I'm going to click on that, Install Steam. It's going to download it. We can get rid of Safari now. We don't need that anymore. So I'm going to close that down. I'm going to open up the Steam here, move the application into my applications there, and then close that down. It's all mounted and ready to go. In fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Steam and um, I'm actually going to start recording my screen. I think that would probably be the better idea to get a better view of this. So let me just move my window into the middle here. And as you can see, Steam is working absolutely fine. It's loaded up. Like I said, they actually have made Steam fully compatible now to work with Apple Silicon. So if you have an M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, the actual Steam application is fully compatible. There are no problems there. Where the problems are lying to do with are actually to do with the games themselves. A lot of them just don't work. As you can see here, this one says that you are unable to run 32-bit games because it's a 64-bit ARM processor inside it. So you can see here, you just can't install them. You can try, but it just probably just won't work. And as you can see, it's saying it's please install this by a boot camp by using a PC. But obviously, boot camp doesn't work again. Apple Silicon, you'd have to use something like Parallels or something like that. And that's something I will test out at a later date. But I just wanted to show you natively on a Mac, on Mac OS, basically some games running. Now, again, I will say this, there are a lot of great games out there like I want to test, like Grand Theft Auto 5, for example, Red Dead Redemption 2. You know, I can think of loads of games, but I'm afraid to say they're just not compatible with Apple Silicon unless you do some jiggery pokery install parallels or even crossover to make it work and in fact you can go to a website like this one here and it will actually show you basically all with loads of adverts it will show you all the kind of apps that will fully work here so you can see it's got m1 support and that if it's running on uh, metal um, or rosetta as you can see here or native there isn't that many and if i keep scrolling down you'll see that it will start to change uh, a bit later on down here that there's some that just don't work are, are completely unsupported like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 now I know that's an older game but it just won't work on here um, for example EVE Online's another Grid 2 Half-Life 2 we've just seen it's not going to work here at all but there are some games The Witcher <laughs> I'm looking at there are some games though that do work fully compatible what are right at the top here what are native as you can see here, like World of Warcraft has been designed completely fine for it. And there are other ones that are being designed with Rosetta. So this is basically the kind of converter from x86 to kind of the ARM64 chip, with the Apple Silicon M1 Pro that is inside. So there are apps. And these are some of the apps that I'm going to test out today, some of the games. So uh, what I have already done here, as you can see, I've already installed uh, Counter-Strike. So let's just test this one first. Now I will say I am pretty rubbish with Counter-Strike. So so just be warned of this. So let's just see if this will load up. It looks promising so far. So I'm not going to go online. The things so it will take forever to find someone to matchmake me. And to be honest, I haven't really played this game in ages. So we'll just let it load. There we go. CSGO. 
that's loading there we go so I'm just gonna go to play CSGO and I'm gonna do not that I'm gonna do some practice with the bots uh, let's just do dust 2 just to show you guys here that it loads and works and everything anyone will know this will take a couple of seconds to normally load up just let us run And we're in the game. So I'm going to do counter terrorists here. Oh dear, I've just realised something, guys. I'm actually using my touchpad. I'm not very good with the touchpad. So I'm going to change my weapon here. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> Bot Frank killed me straight away. I am rubbish at this. I'm not with it. I haven't played this game in donkeys. I've played it in years of somebody there. Oh, come on. There we go. Someone help me. There we go. That's a bit better. But you can see that it works absolutely fine. Like I said, I am rubbish at this game. I care to admit that. So you don't need to put it down in the comments that I'm rubbish. I literally am rubbish. Especially with a touchpad to play this game and not setting up any of the keys the way I want it. But we get the idea that is fully working there on this M1 Pro. So I'm just going to exit this out. Let's try a different game this time. So I'm going to quit that. Uh, you guys is planet coaster this is one of my other great games i love playing this is more of a kind of a sort of strategy sort of game it makes you, you can build your own theme parks if you've ever played this before and again this has completely been built to work uh with rosetta 2 to work on this um m1 and m1 pro and m1 max chipsets so let's just let this load up and see how good this is See if we can skip this. There we go. And we're straight into the game there. So let's just play a game here. Let's just do a sandbox mode. Let's do a tropical sandbox. And we'll just load up straight away. Let's see how long the sandbox takes to load. It's taking a little longer, probably because it's the first time, but there we go, we're in. Oh, again, using a trap pad, a very, very bad idea. Oh gosh, I really need a mouse for this. I should have used a mouse straight away. But let's go to my blueprints here. Uh, there's a spinball wizard coaster here. I'm going to park, park this in here. And let's put that in, for example. Voila. I need to uh, readjust my mouse. I have no idea what the touchpad things are here. But... As you can see, it's built. <laughs> and uh, let's just do a quick test on that one. Um, it's doing a test run at the moment. I actually want to see what it looks like. Um, I can't remember where you have to go to now. I haven't played this game in so long um, to actually view what everything looks like. There we go. Ride camera. There we go. This is Spinball Wizard sort of thing. So this level, this actually kind of track layout, I think, is from a park in my country, actually. Called Autumn Towers as this uh, track layout but as you can see it works absolutely fine let's go um, from a person's point of view or we'll fight near them that's a better view that looks works absolutely fine the graphics it's not struggling whatsoever I don't see any lack in sort of frames per second or anything I think the game is working perfectly on that one so yeah that is really 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 cool in fact I'm, in fact, I'm gonna come out of it now so let's come out of this let's quit Planet Coaster uh, let's move on to the final game what is good old fashioned rocket league so let's just press play on that one and let that one load again this is another game what is compatible but i think actually uh, the guys at rocket league pulled the plug on support now for rocket league um they're going to update it and patch it in a way but they're just not going to um you know fully support it anymore i think that's what they said but let's just let rocket league load up There we go, and there we go, it says there it's not supported anymore, but it does work. So we're going to click play here, uh, let's do a seasonal um, exhibition, let's do that. And uh, let's just create a match. 
and see how rubbish I am on this game as well because it's been ages since I've actually played this one as well. So let's just load this one up. I'm going to just do an auto join. And booster. Is it a goal? Oh, look at that. Straight in. <laughs> but you can see that works straight away. What I'll do is um, this time, though, I think I'll just um, won't do that. I'll show you the guy game actually working a bit better this time without me just shooting the ball around, even though it is a one on one. There we go. But you can see everything works okay. We can change it to the different view here. So, yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. And I can just hit the ball around. I'm just trying to find where the other player is now. I think I put one on one. I just can't see him anywhere. But, yeah, everything looks absolutely cool. You can see here I'm pressing all the random keys that I shouldn't be playing. But the game is running awesomely here. And uh, yes, you can see that basically games that are completely native to work on a MacBook uh, with an M1 and M1 Pro and also an M1 Max work absolutely fine. I have said this already and that is remember guys that not a lot of games are natively designed to work on a MacBook Pro. So games like Grand Theft Auto 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, you know, all these other games you want to see like Horizon, you know, and things like this. All these new games that we have got out there, um, they just won't work unless you install parallels and even that will struggle or crossover and again not all the games are fully compatible with that what you've got to remember is even though apple compared the graphics to a sort of a uh, rtx 3050 or rtx 3080 this is not meant to be a gaming machine well not the gaming machines that you would think of that's not apple's intention they like games on them but they're very select in how what games can be played actually on their actual machines so yeah just be aware of that but anyway let's just uh, come out of this game then and let's go back to uh, the main menu once this closes down so i'm going to come out go back completely exit the game and then we're back to the uh, main desktop of with Steam there. And it's moved my window around again. But there we go. Well, as you can see, Steam is working absolutely fine on this 14-inch MacBook Pro. And like I said to you guys right at the beginning of this video, there are clients out there, the likes of, say, Crossover and, let's say, Parallels, that can run Windows games on the MacBook Pro, so the likes of Red Dead Redemption 2, Horizon Zero Door, possibly, you know, GTA 5. I could go on here on all the later kind of big games out there. But I wanted to show you guys natively or organically, whatever the word is, what games are built for the MacBook Pro and how they work and if they will work. And like I said, as time goes on, more developers in Steam will probably make their actual games more and more compatible with the likes of the M1 Pro and the M1 Max and even the original M1 on this 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro because there's such a powerhouse inside. So I'm sure it's gonna pull the attention of a lot of developers out there. Well guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button and also at the same time as well. If you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Bye bye.